Hello! This short presentation will introduce you to CodeLab, a platform developed by Microsoft and Stanford University to organize your own challenges. I'm Isabelle Guyon, I'm a professor at Paris-Saclay University and president of Challearn, a nonprofit organization dedicated to organizing challenges in machine learning. I was part of the team that organized the Higgs boson challenge. CodeLab is a platform that has been used for several high-profile challenges in computer vision, such as the Looking at People Challenge series featuring tasks of recognition of gestures and actions of people from video data. It was also used last year in the MS Coco Challenge of Object Segmentation and Recognition. And this year in the O2ML Challenge. The special feature of interest of the AutoML challenge is that it required code submission. The goal of the participants was to provide code that could solve multidimensional classification and regression problems in a large variety of domains without any human intervention. The code submitted was run automatically on the platform, which can process any Linux executable. CodeLab runs on Microsoft Azure. It is sponsored by Microsoft. Small challenges can be run for free. For large challenges, one must submit a research grant proposal to Microsoft Azure. We will first give you a tour of CodeLab, then tell you how to organize your own competition. We are now entering the competition side of CodeLab. The home page gives you a selection of competitions. Click on the search competition to explore more. The search field allows you to retrieve competitions in your own domain. Let's explore the O2ML challenge. The front page of the challenge gives you an overview. On the left side, the menu provides you with information on how to enter the challenge. Click on the Participate tab to enter the challenge. The Participate tab allows you to download the challenge data and make challenge submissions. A sample submission can be downloaded from the link provided. Upload the submission using the Submit button. The Participant panel allows you to review your submission progress and your results. Click on Results to see how you compare to others. You get to the leaderboard, where your score can be compared to the score of others. The leaderboard is completely configurable. You can have as many columns as you want corresponding to various scores or results on different data sets. You can also indicate the ex execution time. The scoring program can even output a complete HTML report with graphs, which, which can be accessed from the last column. Now, if you want to create your own competition, Click on My Competitions. You are redirected to the list of competitions you are running. Click on Create Competition. A competition in CodeLab is a zip archive called Competition Bundle containing HTML pages, documenting the rules and providing help, the data and the scoring program, your logo, and a configuration file written in YAML describing the full competition protocol. For instance, this competition has two phases. Upload Once you uploaded your competition, very quickly your competition is created. If you want to make changes, click on Edit. The editor allows you to modify the data, the leaderboard, change the scoring program, change the dates, the editor is very convenient when you have to make changes while the competition is running, while the competition bundles are very convenient to archive and clone competitions. I will now show you a last very convenient feature. Click again on My Competitions. Then click on My Datasets. From this page, you can upload larger datasets that you would not necessarily want to upload with your competition bundle. Once a dataset is uploaded, you can either reference it from the YAML file using the key, 
make it available for download using its URL, or select it from a menu in the YAML file. I recently used CodaLab in a graduate class I taught on organizing challenges. The students could very quickly set up their own challenge, which were used then as project in a class of 60 undergraduate students. They loved it. So setting up a challenge with CodaLab is easy, but this doesn't mean that conceiving a challenge is easy. It requires many steps, and all of them must be strongly designed to ensure the success of the challenge. Challern and the PySaclay Center for Data Science are here to help you setting up new challenges with many years of experience and dozens of organized challenges. Codalab is an open source project which can be forked on GitHub. You're welcome to contribute new features. Thank you for your attention.